In this report, I would like to show you how is the foundation work of Tesla Gigafactory, Berlin's uh, battery factory, is moving on. Reinforcements are coming and the ground is really, really very thick. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Aryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news and ring the bell so you don't miss my coverage. And also, please give us thumbs up for this report if you find it helpful. So thank Thanks to our friend Jurgen, who provides regular information from Tesla Giga Berlin, we have some images that we can show to Torque News subscribers showing how is the battery factory production is going at Giga Berlin. You remember that Tesla has announced that it wants to build a battery factory at Giga Berlin. They have a lot of land there, and it's a big area, much bigger than Giga Factory Shanghai. And Tesla said, Elon Musk actually said that once it reaches its full capacity of battery production for electric cars this battery factory will be the largest in the world the biggest battery factory in the world for electric vehicles thus meeting probably most of tesla's needs but tesla has said that it still wants to continue its work and partnership with Panasonic, uh, Samsung, and LG Chem, and SK Innovation. So now, uh, Jürgen, who tweets at GF for Tesla, says, today at the construction site, you see these images, friends, he says, while the foundation work on the battery factory is still going on, more and more reinforced concrete pillars are rising into the sky. So you can see the foundation work at the battery factory at Giga Berlin. You, do you see how how thick it is. I remember when they just started building it. I remember again it was very big and we thought what they're building, why are they doing this? But apparently the battery factories need really strong foundation. I don't know because we normally think that the car factories will need stronger foundation than the battery factory but probably, I don't know, maybe they bring some materials for battery production that really need that strong foundation. So anyway, so you can see that reinforced concrete pillars are rising into the sky. I see a lot of pillars a lot of cranes working there so i'm glad that things are going well in the meantime there are some positive news about giga berlin but let me give you some more words about the battery factory if you remember it was announced in june that tesla wanted to launch berlin um, actually it was uh, that tesla wanted to build a battery factory near berlin in june tesla said it changed its application for emission control approval for its construction plans at Giga Berlin, the new application formally requests the additional battery production facility. Tesla has already had said that. Now, uh, given the scope of the changes that Tesla announced in June, the state of Brandenburg's Ministry of Agriculture, Environment and Climate uh, must decide in the next uh, time what will involve in these changes. And they have put this for public discussion. And after the public discuss, they're going to be um, uh, looking on the final permit that will come. Now, what is interesting that if you remember several days ago, I reported that surprisingly, uh, very few objections uh, were filed against Tesla during this time. During the first time when Tesla's plans were put forward for public discussion, there were like 373 objections. This time, uh, just a couple of days ago, I reported at the Torque News that there were only 44 objections, but we were expecting the number to rise. But I did not expect the number to rise to 200 objections. Today, RBB24, which is Brandenburg's public radio, reports that more than 200 objections are filed against uh, Tesla plant in Grünheide, against Tesla Giga Berlin. So let's see the details that RBB reports. He says, the RBB uh, says residents had the opportunity to object to the Tesla construction plans again for around a month. This deadline expired on, expires on Thursday. Day today and the state environment agency reports more than 200 objections also because a citizens initiatives has mobilized so imagine within few days from uh, from 44 to 200 objections. The story goes on saying, after the renewed public display of Tesla's Giga Berlin plans shortly before the deadline, the Brandenburg State Office of the Environment received a total of 244 objections to the construction of the factory of the U.S. electric car manufacturer Tesla in Grünheide. 
244 objections. This was announced by a spokesman for the RBB early on Thursday evening. This number has skyrocketed within a week, like I said. Seven days ago, the office reported 44 objections. The objection period ends at midnight. But if you watched my morning report, I said that after NABU and Green League dropped their case of the higher constitutional court against Tesla Giga Berlin, they will bring it to the objection area and I'm not kind of uh, partly I am uh, surprised how uh, the objections against Tesla Giga Berlin jumped from uh, 44 to 244 but now part of me also says look the NABU and Green League they dropped their case against Tesla and they will uh, uh, normally uh, naturally bring their objections to the public uh, discussions so it may be some of them or maybe last minute a lot of objections came so uh, but it says, uh, RBB says the objections mostly come from the direct factory environment. Let's see what this means. Uh, it says, as the LFU also announced, most of the objections came from Grünheide or Erkner, the immediate vicinity of the Tesla Giga Berlin construction site. It is also noticeable that 100 of the objections were based on templates from the Grünheide Citizens Initiative. BI had distributed these two residents in large number. Now, similar objections were made apparently before. RBB says, according to the State Environment Agency, issues similar to those in the two previous proceedings were objected to. So, some of the objections that br were brought against Tesla Gigaburin are similar to the ones in the past. On the one hand, some would have a problem with the water supply because the plant is being built in the middle of a drinking water protection area. On the other hand, it is about emission control. There are fears of considerable noise pollution or deteriorated air quality from the plant aspects surrounding the newly planned battery factory are new, it said. Essentially, it is feared that the drinking water will be contaminated if an incident occurs there. So, already this is the third display, friends. It is the third time that Tesla has publicly displayed its construction plans because the project has been changed again. For example, to expand a battery factory, which I just mentioned, and you, you saw how the construction of the battery factory is going on with preliminary approvals. Now, in the last interpretation, the State Environment Agency reported far few objections. Now you can see the objections have jumped. This, the State <coughs> Environment Agency is now checking all objections and wants to announce next week whether there will be another public hearing in September in the town hall in Erkner where all the objections collected will be discussed publicly, it said. The Environmental Association Nabu Brandenburg had only announced on Wednesday that it did not want to lodge a complaint with the Federal Constitutional Court about the early approval for the construction of the Tesla factory. After weighing up the costs and benefits, the association decided against it and managing director Christian Schroeder on Wednesday said upon request. Well, friends, let me know what your thoughts are about the objections jumping against Tesla Giga Berlin and also the battery factories uh, construction speed and pace. I think it's really good. I think it's good that Tesla will be building batteries at the Giga Berlin for Giga Berlin factory. This is Armin Harayan from Torque News. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle breaking stories and also ring the bell so you don't miss my coverage next time. And also please uh, give us thumbs up if you found this report informative and interesting. Have a great day. God bless you everyone. Peace be with all of you. I'll see you soon in our next report.